he's taught me throughout the the years of of my life is through hockey the biggest things are are about about being becoming a, a good hockey player is the things that you do away from the rink it's the it's the preparation and and uh putting yourself in the best spot to to strive and uh he's really taught me a lot of a lot of great lessons about about getting there and and uh he played for a while so it's uh something that i'm that i'm hoping to do and, and follow in his footsteps do you think there's i don't know if advantage is the right word but you know when people recognize the name do you think it gives you a leg up does it give you maybe a an opportunity that like people expect you know he's his dad played so he's going to be good too or is that kind of a double-edged sword yeah it's obviously uh it's pretty nice to to have all the connections that my dad has he he's a he's a pretty pe people pleasing guy and, and has a lot of a lot of friends around in in the whole hockey scene so uh we're pretty good friends with with the drapers and and a lot of people connected to the red wings so i'm i'm really excited to be able to to be drafted by it by this organization and uh excited to to be able to to hopefully put on the the red wings jersey one day and uh just having my dad play and and be recognizable it's it's something that that kind of benefits you throughout your whole life and uh, just having a little bit of extra publicity than than maybe someone some other players. It's it's definitely a bonus. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, Ted Colfin, Detroit News. Hey, Rick. Congratulations. Was there a lot of contact with the Wings leading up to this, or in the pre-draft meetings and whatnot? Yeah, I, I talked to the to the Red Wings a, a couple times leading up to the draft, and they're. Uh, Someone that I obviously was uh, really excited to be able to go to. I I live here in in, in Northville, Michigan, so uh, I'm able to to stay at home with with my family as as long as I can. And uh, my parents are definitely pretty happy to to have me stay a little bit closer to home. And my mom gets to hang on to me for a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, we, I'm uh, I'm pretty good friends with uh, Mr. Draper's kid, uh, Keenan Draper. He's he's looking to go to Miami of Ohio as well. And uh, I work out with them a lot in the summer, so I, I bump into them quite a, quite often, and uh, it's uh, pretty amazing to to be able to draft be drafted by the Red Wings. It's got to be some sort of advantage too, just being so familiar with the people involved in the organization. It's got to be a big help, I would think. Yeah, it's it's obviously a, a huge help, uh, just knowing so many so many people and being able to be around so many people with. With the different connections that that I've been able to make over the past past couple of years, whether it's my dad or uh, my agent Ryan Barnes, and uh, my brother went to the Red Wings development camp a couple of years back, and uh, it's it's awesome to be able to to have so many people that that I'm going to be recognizable with and uh, be able to just be around and and uh, have so many connections. Sounds good. Congratulations again. Thank you. Next up, next up. Hey, Red, congratulations. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, what, what parts of the game do you pride yourself on? Yeah, the, the biggest parts of my game that, that I try to bring into to basically every game is, is uh, my tenacity and, and my work ethic. It's uh, something that I go into to every game as, as a non-negotiable, whether it's we're playing a, a team that you know we're supposed to beat or, or we're playing against the, the top teams in, in, in the world. It's something that I bring to the table just about every game. And uh, I think uh, the biggest thing I focus on is trying to affect the game, whether or not I get on the score sheet. I, I think with uh, the way I, I can win face-offs and, and kill penalties and, and provide offense, it's, it's something that I try to do is just affect games no matter what. Any players you really looked up to growing up or that you kind of try to model after? Yeah, the, the, the biggest player that I've really looked, looked up to over the past, past year or so is uh, – I've really tried to model my game after Ryan O'Reilly. He's someone that that brings it brings it every night and and affects games whether he's on the score sheet or not. He's he's <laughs> called the factor for a reason and and basically affects just about every game. Uh, another player that that I I really like to call my role model and and someone that I look up to a lot is is Nick Foligno. Uh, he lives on uh, the same lake as me in in Sudbury, Ontario, where our, our lake house is. So. Uh, I've worked out with them and skated a ton with them in, in the summers and in, in the past summers. And he's someone that, that I've reached out to a multitude of times to, to try to just jog his brain about, about whatever I can and, and try to just learn as much as I can from him. It's a good guy to learn from. Are you, um, you're going to be in Plymouth this week, right? For the, for the showcase. 
Yep. Yeah, I'll be here. I think there's a bunch of you guys uh, just picked today that are going, and then some of the guys they picked last year. What do you think that experience will be like playing? I don't know. I don't think any of them are on your team necessarily, but but with and against some of those guys, I guess. Yeah, it'll it'll be a uh, pretty pretty cool to be able to to reunite with all the guys for, after all of our big days and and just congratulate all the guys that that got drafted to great organizations. It's uh, something that we've all been working for our whole lives and. It's uh, pretty cool to to see it come to fruition for for a lot of my my good friends here. Thanks. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Next up, Ansar Khan, M Live. Yeah, hi, Red. Uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, is there uh, one particular area of your game that you're you're looking to uh, or just focusing on and improving uh, at Miami that uh, that you look that could be the difference in in, in you reaching the next level? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to go into Miami. I'm, I'm going to be able to play with my brother for the first time in, in our lives. We're, we're three years apart, so it's kind of that awkward age gap where we, we never got to play together growing up. And uh, I'm excited to go into Miami because uh, I'm going to be able to have an opportunity to, to be put in a pretty big big uh, situations and be able to, to play a lot more than, than people my age would be in, in different colleges that, that might have a lot more uh, – a lot more draft eligibles and a lot more uh, prospects that that might uh, steal a lot of ice time away. I'm I'm gonna be able to go in and and play a lot and and be put in in just about every situation. So uh, I'm pretty excited to be able to go in and and work on whatever I can, whether it's it's my offense abilities, whether it's it's working on my defense again, and and just uh, just trying to do whatever I can to to boost the organization. And have you lived in the area for a while? Yeah, about. Five years ago, I, I moved to Troy, Michigan, and I uh, I lived there for a year in, in eighth grade. And then after that year, uh, we moved here to, to Northville, Michigan, where we're, uh, we're only 10 minutes away from the USA Hockey Arena, which is super nice. I'm, I'm able to live at home with with my family. Did you go to a lot of, have you gone to a lot of Wings games? And are, are there any uh, current players that, that, that you like, or uh, do you have any other connections besides uh, with Chris Draper? Yeah, I've uh, I've been to a good amount of games, and uh, I love just go, going there and just soaking up the atmosphere of of LCA. I've I've gotten the opportunity to to play to play in LCA quite a few times, and uh, uh, I was actually able to to play in the Joe Lewis Arena uh, before it before it all got taken and everything. So that was a a pretty cool experience of mine, and uh, I love just uh, just watching whatever I can. I I got a I got a ton of ton of thoughts going through my head, so I can't really name name too many players right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks, Red. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Helene St. James, Detroit Free Press. Uh, what was it like then? I, I assume Chris Draper was part of the interviewing process uh, for you leading up to the draft. Yeah, uh, Mr. Draper is uh, is someone that that uh, he. He coached his his son growing up uh, for the the little Caesars, Caesars organization and and uh, my team always had a, a lot of a lot of really good battles against their team and and uh, it's it got pretty heated quite often and uh, it ended up a lot of fights and a, a lot of a lot of chirping going back and forth between uh, our coaches and and Mr. Draper so we've uh, gone back quite a bit and, and become pretty good friends and over the past couple of years and. It's uh, it's pretty cool to be able to be uh, such good friends with this son and and uh, know his family so well. So, did you kind of have to put on a professional face in the interviews, or uh, did you try and, and bank on your familiarity, or how did that go? Yeah, I, I tried to be as professional as possible. I I cracked a couple of jokes to keep it a little light and and try to try to make them just uh, remember me as much as possible. But it's uh, it's pretty nice being able to to go into that big interview with with all those top guys and, and knowing someone it's, it's nice uh, just being a little bit more comfortable than I, I would have been with some other teams. I just have to ask you about your hat. Every other pick they've made today has been wearing a, a baseball style hat. Is that one you, you had lying around or it's a little bit more unique? Yeah, I, I had this one lying around. They, they didn't send me any hats. So I, I, I was, I found this one and, and put it on and I, I got a Ryan Barnes's Jersey on right now. And, his uh, his his game worn jersey. He brought it over. He's he's my agent, and uh, he had, he had a couple of games with the Red Wings. Thank you. Thank you. Last question, Carlos Monteris, Detroit Free Press. Hey, Red, are you in your dad's office right now? 
Yeah, I'm in my basement right now and uh, obviously got a couple golf stuff behind me and uh, I got all my family upstairs. So I, I wanted to be a little bit more quieter down in the basement. Is, is it your dad's area or is it just a general family basement where you are? No, this is usually where I do most of my homework. This is uh, kind of my my section of, of, of the house. Okay. And, uh, you know, do you, you know, having living in the area and everything, how much of a of an understanding do you have about the Red Wings organization? And, you know, obviously an original six, proud organization, a lot of cups, but then a dry spell for a while, how desperate the fans are to win. Yeah, I've, I've been cheering for them the past couple of years living here. And uh, it's obviously uh, tough to watch them go through the, the little dry spell. And uh, I'm just, just hoping to be a part of that that uh that reorganization and, and try to rebuild as much as possible it's uh pretty amazing to to, to be a part of something that's uh, an original six team and and a team that's been uh, has such a loyal fan base throughout the the years that it's been and hopefully we can uh, turn it around and and uh, start moving uphill as much as possible is it is it uh did you get any um i guess uh guidance from your dad having played for the canadians and such a strong, you know, proud franchise and fan base. Wings are similar that way. The the pressure tends to be a little bit higher places like this. Do you, do you have an appreciation for what that might be like when you get to the to the big club? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty it's good. it's pretty different than a lot of a lot of new teams in in the league, and it's uh, obviously a pretty pretty loyal and strong fan base. And uh, my dad pretty much told me to be prepared for anything. It's you kind of have to block out some of the the distractions uh, when you can and and soak them in when it's when when you're riding the highs. So uh, it's my dad uh, was able to to play for the Canadians. He he spoke French, so that was a, a big bonus for him and kind of gained gained the the attraction of a lot of the fan base just by by having that second language and uh, I'm, I'm happy to to not have to to take French anymore in school and and uh, be able to be in an English speaking country and and uh, just soak in as much of the fan base as possible. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. It looks like that's all the questions we had for Red. Thanks everyone for joining us. Red, congratulations. Welcome to Detroit. Thank you guys.